Hello fellow engineers and welcome to the highway design game Freeways. Now this is the map of the previous worlds we have completed on freeways. So each one of these tiles we have designed all of these highway interchanges. Uh, what What is going on there? Why is there a traffic jam there? I think it's a police motorbike but he's broken down. Well that's not very good. Anyway I was just looking over my previous designs. I'm quite proud of some of these. I was trying to work out what my favorite was. Perhaps the turbine interchange? Perhaps the jellyfish? Or perhaps the brain? No I remember what it is. It's the most efficient design of ever done this one look there's literally zero traffic because it's so efficient <laughs> oh there, there's a cut but yeah so we're going to be carrying on with this level here because we are slowly working around in a clockwise manner unlocking all these so let's see what we've got oh god that's a lot of roads so we've got six roads going in and out do they all want to go to each other yes Oh, and they all want to go to each other equally. So when you click on these signs that are adjacent to the roads, it shows flashing arrows, which shows where the traffic from that road wants to go. Now, as these are all equal, I feel like a roundabout could be good, obviously. But I'm also thinking this is sort of a nice setup to do something a little bit funky. Oh god, okay, I have a plan. It could be absolutely genius. I'm thinking we could do two four-way interchanges and then sort of link them up with a roundabout. That might be too much concrete in this game, because this game, you get scores based on how much traffic you do. But the amount of concrete you use has a negative impact on that score. So you want to try and be as efficient as possible, just like real life engineering. So what if we were to do, I reckon, we'll just do straight throughs like that. So now you can see, if I were to click on these, you can see the green arrow going straight up is no longer flashing. But that's because we've satisfied that traffic. Uh, I think we'll do the same over here. So pink to north road is done, and then we'll just do straight across on the sides but we're gonna have to use a bridge to get over so we'll go over there then we'll go up go across there and because it's in lighter gray it means we're using a bridge and then we can go back down and then the same there and back in and then we just do the same for this road and now the left and right traffic is all sorted so if we want to link the horizontal with the vertical traffic a nice idea is just to do a little clover leaf interchange so if we do everything on this road going that way so if they want to go around to there we can just do a cheeky loop around that and now you should see pink car he's going to come around there get his back end out a little bit and then under the two bridges and he's to the pink house sorted uh, so if we do the opposite direction we can literally do the same thing and so this is where the name cloverleaf comes in because we want to make this a lucky interchange so we're going to do around there like that and the same down here and you can see the network is actually complete i will run this but i don't think it's going to be very efficient so if we press this pink stopwatch it simulates you can see oh it's getting jammed that is a lot of traffic so yes we need to finish off now usually you would just connect these corners with like a 45 degree road to like almost make like a diamond around it but because we got two side by side i'm sort of thinking this is where our roundabout can come in up and I'm th oh god <laughs> my brain's like wait what are we doing again so let's start there I guess and we'll go that direction and around oh this is looking quite neat I'm drawing this quite well something to note if you ever decide to play this there's no undo button it's absolutely brutal if you accidentally slip or if you don't have the steady hand of a surgeon yes who knew highway engineers had to have a steady hand as well around there up and over it's jammed that made me jump I nearly jolted my hand but it's okay it will just reset there you go okay so now we've got our roundabout part that is looking so neat. That might be the neatest junction I've ever designed, which probably means I'm going to cock up these. So basically, we just need to draw arms on each of these corners. So we want to come off here and link on there. Same there. Oh, God. <laughs> We're getting so close to the end. I'm like, please don't cock up. Come on, hand. Stay steady. Stay steady. All right, and then the final one over to there. Right. The question is, will that be good enough or do we need to put a vertical bit in there? Let's press the stopwatch. Oh, God, look. It's like spurting traffic. It's like... 412 though that's pretty good i think that's a lot of concrete we've used 10,000 tons of concrete uh, 83 traffic flow pretty good and that gives us an overall total efficiency score and you know what i think i'm proud of that one that that's almost thumbnail material you could say so on to the next levels so when we go back to this you can see our eight leaf clover interchange has now formed part of the entire map so we can unlock beneath that and oh god what is this okay so looks like we've got three factories that create salt and pepper mills so as always the best place to start is to click on each of these and see where the demand is so the wider the arrow the more traffic that wants to go in that direction so it's fairly but there's a few there's a few thicker routes now it looks like we've got this is that meant to be like are they like deer antlers maybe the salt and pepper mills are made out of antler and so there's just like a line of 
dead deer. But we can't cross those with our road, which means we're going to have to come over the top. Which sort of means, I'm thinking, we just do like two roundabouts. So if we start there, I know getting close to these is really good. And we can probably just do that sort of shape. Okay, so they're now connected to each other. That is good. I think we probably just want to mirror that over here almost. I'm not sure it's going to matter what direction we go. So shall we start, I don't know, there? And then we'll go like that. Right, we'll do the yellow onto that. We'll come off there to go to there. And now we should get some yellow cards leaving the salt and pepper factory going to blue. No, we won't, because if you click on that, they only want to go to green. Still, they're going to have to travel all the way around the roundabout if they want to do that. So let's link this up. There you go. Now there is a green car leaving the salt and pepper factory. We'll go around this roundabout, then we'll head along that road, around that roundabout, and then straight down. Sorted. Then I think we can just link you that way, and then we just link all of these arms up. That was quite an easy one. Network complete. Okay, let's press the pink button and simulate. Oh god, there's quite a bit of traffic. 373. That's not too bad. I think I probably could do better. Maybe increasing the traffic flow. This one got a bit jammed up. But uh, for now, we'll, we'll leave that. We'll move on to the next one. Let's try and get a few ticked off today. So we're going to beneath. This could be a complicated one. You can see the level above that we've just done. There's two roads that are going to tie in. And over to the right, you can see this one that sort of looks like a computer mouse. We're going to have another two roads going in. I wonder if it's going to be like the eight leaf clover. Let's have a look. Oh god, it's arguably even more complicated. Oh wait, or is it? There's a massive line of deer antlers and over on the left oh they only want to go up and down we've got a straight road so we literally just go down and do that oh it's so nice not to have to think phew okay so really we only have this one to do then so what the hell are we going to do here they all want to go to each other equally so i think it's just going to be of course a roundabout what a surprise this is the game where my name is no longer motorway map it is roundabout map there's the roundabout we'll go on there we'll go off there and then oh this one's a little bit tricky that's going to be really awkward if you don't bridge over because basically we're going to have all these cars coming around here if we connect that straight up can you see they're going to merge like where these where people leave this stack chair factory they're going to come on and merge and then people are going to want to try and get off to get over to there so i think that could be messy so what we might want to do is do like a ramp over. I'm thinking if we come from here and go like that, are we going to be able to go from there and do a bridge over the top and then connect back in? Oh, it says network complete. I don't know if it is actually complete. It looks very slow already. We might have to do a bit of tweaking. Let's press the button. Oh, oh, that's like a proper roundabout. Oh, it survived. 73, our lowest ever score. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't count as jammed. I guess because this road was still going. Right, okay, okay. I think it might be worth then trying to sort of link some of these together with bridges. So if we try and get rid of the longest route. So going from the green nine to nine bypass, people have to go all the way around the roundabout. Can we go from there and connect in there? Is that going to clash with that? It might do. Shall we rerun that and see if that makes it any better? Oh God, it's still jammed. It is actually jammed this time. And we made it worse somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, again, we might try and do similar. So if we come off there, we can avoid all these interchanges by doing a bridge straight over. What if we run that? Oh, it's still pretty clogged. Oh, holy, what the frig? No way. I think that's my best ever score. 584. Whoa. <laughs> I'm wondering as well, I feel like I can make this better. It will use more concrete, but it will reduce the traffic on the roundabout. I feel like that's what's holding us back, 67. So I'm thinking if we come off like this arm and just go straight there, then like this green car, can you see it's gone onto the roundabout and then come off? So that's clogging up this roundabout a bit. So if we say do that. So the green car is coming from nine bypass like this one. It literally bypasses the roundabout. That could actually really help us. We can do similar down here like that. I don't think we've used too much more concrete, but I feel like we may have fixed the roundabout issue quite a bit. So let's press the stopwatch again. Five, eight, four to beat. Oh, it's gone down. It's gone down. So we lost 10 efficiency. So our traffic flow went up. It was 67, I think. Now it's 70. But because we use more concrete, wasn't worth it. A little bit annoyed with that. I thought, I thought we'd cracked it. Oh, well, let's head back to the map. All right, so we're heading to this one. Oh my God. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. So we've got three-eared bunny rabbits. I'm pretty sure that's a lake that we don't want to go near. There's still a line of deer antler there, but they're also making deer antler over in this pink factory. And then we've got this, which I don't even know what it is. One of those Elgato capture cards you put in the back of your PC. 
<laughs> Maybe that's where they make them out of deer antler. Yeah, but right, okay, so clicking around, there's quite a few, like, thick arrows. Like, look at that chonker. So I'm sort of thinking, maybe we go round and we do all the thick ones first. We'll go sort of straight down. And maybe we'll do a little bit of a curve into that. Uh, they do want to go to pink, but mainly to blue. I'll tell you what, I feel like they're... Yeah, these are going to come around. Let's go from the rabbit. We'll go around there. Over here. Oh, God. Where am I going? Where am I going? Hang on. Do a little bridge over that. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong arrow. I've gone up twice. Damn it. <laughs> That was a lot of concrete I've just wasted. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this one again. I can't waste concrete like that. Damn it. All right, so there we go. We've got that in now. I think we can come off there into the green. That was like the main, the chonker route, wasn't it? Yeah, we can connect the green up into there and then probably another arm up to there. I feel like this could get a bit messy. If we take that off there and then this one can do a little bridge over. Hang on, these have got to get... They've got to get to everywhere. Oh, God. Yeah, if they come off and connect into there, I can take this up that way. And then we're going to bridge over both of those roads. But we can make this corner connect into that. So now the antler people, they're going to come up and go around. And then it's just a case of, can we get this through that gap there? I probably should have drawn that a bit better so we had more of a gap. These fit... Yes, look, pink cars are leaving. Let's see. Will they crash into the building or will it be okay? I think they're okay. Hairpin turn. Oh, God, they slow down a lot there. Yeah, but then it's just a case of connecting up the loose ends. So that needs to go up to there. That needs to go over there. That needs to go over there. So people from nine alts just need to get to the green so they can come down there along that. Yeah, I, I would do a loop, but I feel like that's just going to cock traffic up. So let's just come off that and connect in there. So they're not flashing. They're all done. This one, they can't get to pink. So as they're coming along there, perhaps we can just come off that from there. Connect in. The capture cards want to get to the three-eared rabbits. I think we can just come off there and do like a bit of a loop. And then the rabbits, they just need to get to pink. So if they're coming along that road, I think they can just come off like that. Network complete. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess. This one was really tricky. Let's press the simulate button and see how we do. Traffic's moving quite nicely. 453. You know what? I think we might take that, especially as the concrete used was a nice round number of 6,000. Right, so on this one, there's a field of strongest shapes, which I think we have to avoid. There's only in and out, so we probably have to do the most efficient routes we can. So... If we come down here, we can sort of go around this. Let's go around that one and then connect in there. And then from this one, and loop around like that, just over there and then like that. Now you might think, Matt, you've been stupid there. You've just done a silly road as long as you can because you think you're hard. Well, no, actually, if you Google something called the spring paradox, you'll find out that sometimes having a longer road can reduce traffic because if you think if these were straight through roads and we tried to fit a thousand cars through, there'd be a massive chain of a thousand cars because they simply couldn't all fit on the road at the same time. But by doing a longer route, it actually means that there's more space for the cars to spread out and it can actually reduce traffic times. So sometimes taking the longest route can actually reduce your traffic times simply because you're always moving at a faster average speed. All right, anyway, back to the map. Let's do a proper level. Oh God. <laughs> That could be my favorite level, actually. Look how cool that is. All right, so let's do the bottom left level. Level 42. So this one, there's literally cranes everywhere. And it looks like every traffic route, oh God, except for that one, is identical. So I'm sort of thinking, oh God, maybe we do the straight through on those roads and then we just round about the rest up. Although actually, there's, there's so little traffic coming from these cranes. Perhaps we can just, yeah, sod it. I'm thinking we go down here, we go nice and close to all of those and then we go up to there. So that is the big blue arrow sorted. We can quickly do our ons and off over here. So that's most things sorted. And then if we do the same, over this side. Oh, is it worth going up between those two mountains to try and get that? Yeah, I think I think we will. I think we'll go up there, straight down over to there. So we can loop this one around and then we can come off there. And then we're nearly sorted. We just need to turn it into a roundabout. So I think we'll try and do it over here and over there. Network complete. Sort of looks like a crocodile with a knob eye. Let's press a button and see how it simulates. It's a little bit slow, actually. Oh, 460 though. Thank you, efficiency score, because although the traffic flow ain't great, we hardly use any concrete. I think in the 400s, that's 
we can't really argue with that. Let's go on to the next level. So we have got quite a few coming in and going out. Are they all equal? They're all pretty much equal. Oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Right, let's do a big roundabout to start. We'll try and do a perfect circle. I want this to look neat. All right, so that doesn't really look like a circle, but for an engineer that doesn't like curves, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think we can then do sort of that. So traffic will be coming around there. And then we probably want a circle going that way. And then we'll connect the middles up. So they'll be going that direction. So we'll just go around there and around there. Okay, so now we have a circular magic roundabout, hopefully. Uh, so let's press the pink button. <laughs> it looks dreadful. <laughs> In my head, this looked really cool. Oh, actually, have we... Oh, we've forgotten to do that one. Hang on. We want to go from there to there, don't we? All right, there you go. Yes, look. Everyone's moving a bit now. Let's press the stopwatch and see... Oh, God. Down there is a mess. Down there is a big mess. Ooh. Oh. Okay, that's terrible. That's really terrible. I think I cocked it up a bit. We need to get 400 if we want a photo. And that's what this game's all about, getting the photos. Let's try that. I just added that arm in there because I don't think I drew it very well. Nah, it's cocked. 210. We made it better. I think if we just draw it a bit neater, we should be okay. So what if we draw the roundabouts first? So if we do a circle there, one there, one there, and then two down there. So in the middle, they've got a link that direction. Not very circular, but you get it. And then on the outsides, they've got to go sort of like that. Okay, so there's our blob. We've just got to connect the arms to it now. Oh god. <laughs> Look at that bend. What have I done there? Okay, network complete. There's a few dodgy turns, but let's see if it's any better. Come on. Come on. Oh no, there's so much traffic. Oh, it's jammed. It's jammed. I'm pretty sure I've just cocked these up because of these like weird junctions at the bottom. So let's try one more time. And rather than making it look all neat, we're just going to make it look a bit messy. That looks hideous, but I think this should be better. It can't be worse, surely. The traffic's pretty smooth. Oh, oh, yes. Take a bow, Matt. Take a bow. You see, I felt like... I felt like a magic roundabout was right. I was just trying to make it neat. And that's not always the case. This is why engineering beats architecture. Uh, so let's see our prize for the day's engineering. It is a real life photo. So, oh, yes, the magic roundabout of Swindon. We know her very well. It uh, looks absolutely terrifying, but I promise you driving it isn't too bad. Just be prepared to get honked at if you don't know where you're going. Bonus, an interview with Jerry Bellick, who has driven round the magic roundabout. <laughs> Is he wearing a Russian hat? <laughs> Look at that face. All right, Jerry, set the scene for us. Why are you in Swindon on that day? Now, my friend Paul picked us up. He's a very calm person, even by British standards. So basically, I think he was a passenger and he was absolutely shitting it. But the British guy was just driving him around normally. <laughs> this guy's scared of curves. Those eyes. They've seen roundabouts, man. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the sign for the magic roundabout. It's pretty easy to understand, isn't it? You just come to like five small roundabouts. Uh, I think Google is cocked up there though. <laughs> so he wants to get from Fleming Way to Queen's Drive. And for some reason, Google's like, yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go all the way around that roundabout for some reason. All right, so this guy who was initially against roundabouts, any final thoughts or closing remarks? I'm for it. Yes. He is a convert. He is a magic roundabout convert. I mean, why wouldn't you? Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. All right, but anyway, guys, let me know which is your favorite design so far. If you can pick out the number, like this one is number one, I assume that's going to win because it is the best. But if you have any other choices, let me know. If you want to explain why, even better. Anyway, guys, peace, love, and eat leaf clovers. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.